Hey Gemini singles, it's Goddess Puff and this is your singles love prediction. I'm going to jump straight into the tarot for my single Geminis in love spirit. What can my single Geminis look forward to in love? Singles love prediction for my Geminis, please spirit. A singles love prediction for my Gemini spirit. What do my Geminis have to look forward to in love for my singles? All right. <clears throat> We have the three of candles. Something's coming. We got the six of swords, six of needles. You're moving to, something comes in that allows you to move to calmer waters and set your mind at ease because the overall energy is the eight of swords. You're overthinking and something comes in to set your mind at ease. Page of potions, a new passionate beginning. Maybe you think you won't meet someone new. Or maybe you don't think this person will offer you something new, but you do get a pleasant surprise that calms your nerves. Night of presence. Something, someone wants to work hard on this. Two of candles. So a choice. Maybe you're overthinking whether or not you should go for it. I think you should. If you got an option right now, if you don't, you will in the future. It's someone new. Definitely someone new. And I say go for it. Clarify this. So this person is going to work very hard because they have goals with you. They have goals in mind with you. They see the long term. They're coming in as this night of presence or with this night of presence energy. And that's someone who takes note of everything you do, of, of you, who you are. They Because they want to make you happy. They see long term with you. You could be checking off a list about this person, trying to check for red flags and overthinking. But Spirit's saying this is coming in for your highest good. And it's time to let it go and move to calmer waters. Let go of your overthinking and your worries and fears. This person is coming in for your highest good. I'm saying it with my checks. There could be something about a past person who was very emotionally immature and you're letting it go and choosing to move forward. Someone who kept you in anxiety and worry and, you know, not sure of yourself. But I do see something new coming in for you. Let me clarify this because I've been shuffling. <laughs> I love your energy for this reading. Clarifying the three of candles is the six of cups. And right before I <laughs> pulled the cards, I said it could be someone from your past. Someone from your past. Two of wands. So there is someone from your past coming back and you're trying to decide whether or not you should go for this person. You're going to let it go because you've been working on yourself with this eight of pentacles. Or maybe this person comes back ready to work on it with you. I don't know. But with the seven of wands, you're defensive. You're protecting yourself because you've worked. Like I said, you this person left you um, broken and you put yourself back together and did the work. And now you're guarded. It doesn't have to be someone from the past, but this is the past card, Nostalgia. Clarifying the page of potions is the king of swords. So I feel like this, there's a new person coming in to offer love, who's someone who's an air sign, or it could be a Libra. There is a new person coming in to offer you love. They're very straightforward and blunt about how they feel. And also, I feel like you're getting justice. There was something very unjust. That an emotionally immature person, they could have been very sharp with their tongue, quick to anger and slow to give. Like they were just, they said nasty things. I feel like they were verbally abusive in some way to you. I don't like that, that past person. But I feel like there's it's karmic justice for somebody new, someone who's clear on you and what they want. I feel like this new person, let me keep going. Clarifying the Knight of Presence, Knight of Pentacles is the Judgment card. And then we have the Magician. Some, so you've manifested, you're calling a judgment on a situation. With the Two of Candles clarified by the Fool card, Aquarius. Yeah, so you, you got a choice between the old and the new. 
There's a past person and a new person. And the two of candles, two of wands, clarified by the knight of pentacles. So we got the knight of pentacles here again. So you may make a, a literal list of attributes of both people. What you like and what you don't like. So first, you need to make a list of your actual likes and dislikes as a as a whole in general for yourself personally. And then you write down the attributes of the people that you have to choose between and then the things you like and what you don't like, okay? That could literally be you, Gemini. I don't know. Overall energy is the Ten of Pentacles. So there is someone here who's the right one for you. I honestly feel like you got two choices between the past person and the new person. There is someone here. This could be one person though. Let me, let me, cause I'm getting so much at once. Okay. So for those of you who have a choice between a past person and a new person, if you were dealing with someone in the past and they were like, their words were nasty and stuff, don't go for them. Or if you're currently dealing with someone who they're not really emotional, don't go for them. I feel like there's someone here who, who's for you and someone who isn't. For those of you where this is just one person, I feel like this person is studying you heavily. I can't decide whether or not this is a new person or a past person. Maybe this person's coming back in as a new person. Maybe that's why my head, because my head is spinning like you. Maybe that's how you feel. I guess I can't get a storyline. And right behind it is the Knight of Swords. And then the Page of Swords. Good grief. The Tower, the World. This person done went through it. But the overall energy is the Eight of Swords. My head is literally spit, jumping back and forth from past, present, past, present, new. I keep getting past, present, new. So like past, present, future type of energy. Maybe I should do a past, present, future spread. But let me focus on this. <laughs> like someone from your past is coming in. Maybe in the past they couldn't decide whether or not they wanted you. Or maybe you're deciding whether or not you want them. I don't know, but there's someone from your past coming in, making a decision about you. Someone patched themselves back up and did the work and now they're defensive because you're not going to let that person break you again because this person acted like they had a choice. Then maybe they didn't want to commit. That's what I think. This person had commitment issues in the past. Let me, I'm looking at your last reading title and seeing what it said. Yeah, there was commitment issues. Someone from your past, I feel like when I'm looking at this two of wands, this person acting like they got options and a choice. Like, I don't know if I really want you. Like, I'm here, but I don't know if I want you. I'm here, but I don't know if I want you. I'm here, but I don't know if I want you. I just felt the need to keep repeating that. It's like, they keep you in limbo. And you had to piece yourself back together and move on on your own. And you've done the work. And you're, you're very defensive about that because if you worked on something real hard, you're going to protect it. And this person coming back in offering the bare fucking minimum. It's like you did the work and your ships are coming in and you winning in life. And this person did the bare, they come back in with the bare minimum. I, and I also feel like there is a new person coming in. Someone that you've worked, you've done the work on yourself. Someone who's been studying you. Someone that you've manifested. Because you got the Ten of Pentacles. As the overall energy. So there is a choice between two. There is a past person. And then there is a new person. Don't go to the past person. Obviously. Because you've been doing work on yourself. And you're about to call judgment on this manipulative person. Because this past person is very manipulative. There's someone here who's very manipulative. From the past. They come in. And act like they control the situation, like your game of chess and they can play you. Like they got it under control. They can pick you up and put you down like a piece on a board whenever they feel like it. It's like they come in and they show you that they're there, but they stall and whether or not they want to take you. They just stand there and 
antagonize you with their presence. It's like, why are you coming here? Why are you here? If it's like that song by SZA, like, why do you bother me if you know you don't want me? Like, why would you come back into my life and make your presence known? Be around me if you still indecisive. Um, but I see that there's someone new here. Could be an Aquarius. Spirit is telling you, go to the new person. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Virgo for the new person. There is someone new here that you've manifested by doing the work on yourself. And Spirit is telling you to go towards the new person. Don't let this person have the option of choosing you anymore. I feel like it could be a Libra or a Virgo. Someone in the past was manipulative and there's someone new for you. Go towards the new person because they're going to give you that Ten of Pentacles. They're going to do the work and they're going to love you. And this past person is only going to leave you with the Eight of Swords. So the past person is going to give you the Eight of Swords. The new person is going to give you the Ten of Pentacles. Now let me get you your final Oracle card message. <laughs> Choose that new person. Final oracle card message for my Geminis. Final oracle card message for my Geminis. Final oracle card message for my beautiful Geminis. Keeping up. Immense effort advance. So, I, like I said, I felt like you've been working very hard. We got the Knight of Pentacles twice and then the Eight of Pentacles. So, that's a lot of hard work in your ships coming in. And this person's like kind of slowing you down. You got the Ten of Pentacles as your overall energy. So, clearly, you, you're making money. You're keeping up with the time, with your obligations. And you're advancing very quickly. You're putting in a lot of, you put a lot of energy and time into yourself. Overall energy, wake up. It's your moment. I have not seen this card before. I love that for you. Wake up. It's your moment. It's your time to shine. And oh, it's like that moment when Rihanna was getting an award and Drake came up there and tried to propose to her and take the spotlight. It's like you've been putting in all that energy, time, and effort into yourself. And you about to be praised and showered. It's your moment. And this person tried to swoop in to distract you. Like, maybe they feel like you're getting too much attention. You've done all this work on yourself and you're flourishing spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and financially. You're flourishing, Gemini. And this person comes in to just stand there and entice you and throw you off track. It's like, okay, this per you're too focused on yourself. You're too focused on your success. People are too focused on you. It's time to make it about me. And their presence alone is trying to throw you off track. They're trying to throw you off your game. Don't fall for it. Don't even look their way. You see how the justice card not even looking their way. It's like bye, boy, bye, girl, bye. Yeah, they're coming in manipulative. I wouldn't even give them the time of day. Go towards this new person. Okay, I send you peace, blessings, and love. Remember, it's your time. If you're in that eight of swords energy, wake up. It's your moment. You're calling the judgment, not them.